We know Agenda 2030 is their agenda. When we look at that, we look at that under a microscope. This is how COVID played out. Remember, Saturn and Pluto were here in Capricorn. Saturn conjuncted Pluto. Right when Saturn conjuncted Pluto, they came out with the COVID scam. Then, Jupiter conjunct Saturn. The great conjunction was Solstice 2020. Now, quick overview of what the Jupiter and Saturn. Actually, I'll just put it right in here. Okay, this site, Sky and Telescope. Great conjunction, Jupiter and Saturn. When you think orbit, think going around the circle, which is funny because then they in this site say, here it is on a zodiac circle, which you could just use the AE map. So the 2020 conjunction wasn't only just Saturn and Jupiter being together. It was the closest ones in 1623. It was a big one, remember? They are the leaders. They take one year, Jupiter takes one year to go through a sign. Saturn takes two and a half years to go through a sign. The sun whizzes through in a month, Venus faster, Mercury even faster. So that is why we use them as leaders in astrology. That's why we call them the elders and the leaders. When you're in a certain spot for longer than everything else, you have more experience there. So you're an elder. How does this play out? When we saw those leaders come together, we saw the leaders come together on earth. We saw the leaders who didn't come together for this greater cause of humanity, zero degrees Aquarius, they were conjunct at solstice 2020. The great conjunction of all leaders coming together. If you didn't come together, you were done. Like the African president who was testing fruit and finding cocaine. He's gone. The Gates Foundation wrote uh, an article about him trying to smarten him up and he disappeared. So that's what happened to the leaders who didn't conform in the great conjunction and the coming together of all the leaders of Earth. Jupiter finished its way through Cap did the Aquarius year, did the Pisces year, and now, we, now it's over in Aries. It's going to keep going to Taurus for 2024. So what that means is we had the leaders coming together for the good of humanity at zero Aquarius. Then we had Jupiter keep going, Jupiter keep going, Jupiter's gonna get all the way to here. And then right at the start of Cancer, Saturn is going to be Aries, and we're going to start that square. 2025. Saturn, Aries, Jupiter is going to hit Cancer, and then we're going to hit that square. This is a peak. The square causes a lot of tension to be built up. When's the tension? What is the tension? It started after the conjunction. It's just like a new moon. When the sun and the moon come together, and then the moon leaves, the moon would be like Jupiter in this case. The moon's faster, so the moon's going to leave. And then at the half moon, it's another peak, like a full moon. A half moon is kind of a peak that people forget about. But that's when the moon and the sun are 90 degrees apart, and the moon is half in the sky. And those people, they're born where their moon and their sun don't really get each other. So it's called the square, and it makes them kind of crabby patty. With Jupiter and Saturn, it's the same thing. It's the square. It causes disagreements it causes a splitting up especially Aries and Cancer they're both cardinal so it's a real powerful spot not being able to come together and that turns into eventually the opposition so what do we see in the news now going on flying objects shot down flying objects shot down over Yukon live now Frank Monday Canada looking for debris. Yeah, Canada too. One hour ago, Canadian investigators are searching for debris after the United States shot down an unidentified flying object over Yukon on Saturday. From there to the middle, 2025, a peak. Working our way up there. We're almost there. It's 2023 right now. As of now, Saturn and Jupiter aren't that bad. Saturn and Jupiter are kind of chilling but they're working up to really not getting each other.
it doesn't happen in one day. Everything will eventually lead up to something. Everything is growing to something and then it has a peak. So that's why you will see things slowly coming up, you know, and then, then it's right in your face, just like flat earth. It eventually will be in everyone's face. It already is. It's in everyone's face so much that they've made all this propaganda now to combat what Eric started. Remember the days when we would search Flat Earth on YouTube and find all the Flat Earth videos? People like us talking about Flat Earth. Now search Flat Earth and it's just straight pages of so-called debunkers. All parroting the same crap. All... All of them, all of those debunker channels are quite similar, you know? They don't really have any content until they start making fun of us. That, I mean, I, you're welcome. You're welcome. Take it like a joke all you want. You're welcome for giving you guys content. So yeah, think of it like a, the new moon and then the half is the peak. That's in 2025 and here's the last, here's the exact opposition for, for solstice 2029 right at the new year of 2030 and people don't think that has something to do with agenda 2030 the signs that it's happening in are possessions your possessions your values your security your safety things you love versus other people's money other people's value other people's security things other people's love things other people value It's Jupiter and Scorpio and Saturn and Taurus. You will own nothing and be happy. All right, I hope I didn't lose anyone. I was trying to just point it out simply, but basics, there was a conjunction of the great leaders in 2020. 2025 is a peak where they don't get along. And there's a little bit of peacekeeping and trying some things as we have a trine before the opposition, after the square, but then Bam, the full moon, the Jupiter op Saturn, solstice 2029, right in time for Agenda 2030.